Are you too old to play tennis? Well, the answer is not that simple. You often hear that tennis is a lifetime sport that you can play forever, but I've had a lot of experience teaching at the recreational level and at the high level, and I can tell you exactly when indeed you are too old to play, but also how you can play tennis and make it a lifetime sport. So let's start off with the elite level. When are you too old to compete at the highest possible level of tennis? I do believe that you can compete at the elite level into your early 40s and Roger Federer competed last year and he actually was able to play really well. He's highly capable of posting big results at the elite level in his early 40s. But also Jimmy Connors back in the day made the semi-final run and he was of a similar age. However, I will say that once you reach the mid 40s, it's going to be very tricky at the elite level and especially going into your 50s. There are no examples of players being able to play at the elite level at 50 years old. I do not believe that that is possible. The elite level takes such a hard toll on the body. I can give you a movie recommendation on Netflix. You can watch the movie called The Player. It's a movie about Boris Becker and you see how destroyed his body is from competing at the elite level. So because of tennis being maybe the toughest sport in the world, it takes such a toll on the body, I don't think it's possible to play at the elite level into your 50s. At the high level, however, it's a little bit different. There has been some examples of players able to get ATP points at the age of 50 or in their late 40s. So I do think the level is obviously not as high as the elite level so at the high level i do think that players who are really fit are able to still compete at the high level into their late 40s and maybe into their early 50s if i take myself as an example i'm 44 now and i'm still capable of playing high level tennis i often will play sets with division one college players with high level juniors and i'm still able to beat guys that are 20 or 25 years younger than me so i'm still able to do it how much longer? Well, it's going to depend on my physical conditioning. If I stay healthy, if I keep myself in good shape, I think I can do it for a few more years. But then, of course, once I get into my mid 50s or I'm approaching 60, it's going to be tougher and tougher. So when it comes to the high level, I do think it's possible to play high level tennis into your 50s. But then once we start getting into the mid 50s, into the 60s, it's going to become very difficult, if not impossible. And now let's talk about the most important thing that is the recreational level. You often hear that tennis is a lifetime sport that you can play forever, and that is definitely true. However, I will say that many players who are 60 plus, 70 plus, are unable to play singles. And because of limitations in movement, range of motion, they are only able uh, to compete in doubles. And I can tell you one factor that I've been able to observe with my students. I teach students of all ages. I have a lot of students who are 70 plus years old, and some of them are not in the greatest shape and they can only play doubles. But the ones that are still able to compete in singles keep themselves very slim. There's one player in particular that I coach named Robert who is 69, about to turn 70, and he is in unbelievable shape. He plays beach volleyball every day, he plays tennis, he still competes in singles, and he's very slim and is able to move around the court phenomenally well for his age. He's a really good player. Good. Good. Nice. Nice. Step up. And put it away, Robert. Come on. Put it away. Kill it. On the run. Come, come. All right. Great rally. However, some of my other players who are a little bit heavier, they tend to have more ailments. They tend to have knee problems, ankle problems, all kinds of issues. And I do believe there's some correlation with weight and injuries when it comes to tennis. So if you want to make tennis a lifetime sport and play into your 70s and maybe even into your 80s and still able to compete in singles, you have to keep yourself fit. But most importantly, you have to keep yourself trim you cannot be overweight because i have not seen many players who are 70 plus able to play singles if they're too heavy now the great thing about tennis and i'm not sure if other sports have this that you can compete 
and play USDA national tournaments into your 90s. So I have a couple of random national tournaments here. Here are the USDA national women's hardcore championships. You can see here we have women's singles, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So there's a 90 and over category for singles. And then another tournament, these are the Southern Senior Men's Clay Court Championships. And we have men's 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. So this is the beautiful thing about tennis and thanks to the USDA, they organize tournaments where this is possible, where you have even 90 year olds or older still competing in singles and doubles tournaments. So tennis is a lifetime sport, but it's a lifetime sport for doubles. And no knock on doubles, but it's fact that in doubles, you don't have to move that much. You have half a court to cover and the pace sometimes is slow at the recreational level and you can get away with not moving at all and playing doubles. But a lot of these students that come to me and that play doubles and they're older, they kind of wish that they could still play singles. They wish they could go out there and play a singles match and move around the court. And in my experience, what I've been able to observe with many students that I've had over the past 30 years that the ones that are able to play singles matches into their 70s into their 80s are always trim because i do feel like there's a correlation between body weight and injury so if you truly want to make tennis a lifetime sport and play singles maybe even into your 90s you got to keep yourself fit you got to keep yourself trim and then tennis can truly be a lifetime sport